Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This lecture is about strong ions, and we are going to discuss strong ion differences. Normally, we have uh, these uh, distributions of extracellular, intercellular fluids, and intercellular and extracellular cations and anions in different concentrations. But when we look at these uh, cations and anion, we came to a point what we call strong ions, strong cations and strong ions. What's meant? This is a, they found that uh, some uh, anions and some cations, uh, when they are present in solutions in water, they dissociate completely. Like sodium chloride. Sodium chloride, when, when it dissolves in water, you will find sodium and chloride. You will never find sodium chloride molecule. It is a sodium and it dissociates completely. And this means that uh, they are strong. The sodium is a strong cation and chloride is strong anions. That's why when we look at this, is a, this is a formula present in the blood. So this means that we have uh, weak ions. Weak ions which does not dissociate completely. So look at this. These are common acids which dissociate completely. And these uh, strong bases which dissociate completely. This is uh, an example. When we come back to the problem of uh, pH, the power of hydrogen ions, according to Henderson Hasselbach equations, uh, it, uh, this uh, one is replaced by bicarbonate, the relation between bicarbonate and carbon dioxide. But bicarbonate equals the strong ion differences min minus the total weak acids. So this is that. Uh, so the we came according to the Stewart, uh, the, the pH is the which is. Uh, 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 not a dependent. It is an. Uh, uh, it is a dependent one. It is a dependent factor. The same like uh, bicarbonate. This depends on this independent uh, factor, like strong and different total weak acid, the carbon dioxide. So this is very important to which this determines the pH. So when we come to the. Uh, 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 the factor which determine the, the hydrogen ion concentrations are strong ion differences, total weak acid, and carbon dioxide. This strong ion differences usually is determined, as we have mentioned before, by the gastrointestinal tract, by the kidney, by this, uh, the, the, these constant uh, uh, electrolytes are important, uh, the same like total weak acids, uh, the same like uh, uh, carbon dioxide. Hydrogen is the net result of their actions, bicarbonate is the net result of their actions. So these are the strong cations, and these are strong uh, anions, but these are weak. So this is, a, let's uh, study it in another way. When we come to the weak acids, uh, weak cations, uh, weak acids and weak anions, this is the uh, uh, albumin, globulin, uh, and the inorganic phosphate. When we calculate them as charges, as not as osmoles, so the albumin, uh, 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 the charge differs with the pH, so it has a special formula. And uh, to conclude, this albumin is multiplied by 0.25. If the albumin is uh, 40 gram per liter so to multiply it, so the albumin will form about 10 milliequivalent per liter as the charges. The globulin should be multiplied by 0.09 to give you 3 milliequivalent per liter. So when you come to the inorganic phosphate, you multiply it by this factor. This is a formula. To multiply finally to multiply by 1.8 so it is 1 by 10. so when you add, when you sum uh, or, or you add album globulin plus inorganic phosphates all of them they form about uh, 15 to 16 uh, mill equivalent per liter these are the weak total weak acids uh, uh, and the, the, the we call it uh, uh, the effective or the buffer base we're going to talk about it later look at this uh, symbol one when you look at the phosphate charges should equal the negative charges. And these positive charges are strong cations, and this is the strong anions, this is chloride. The difference uh, is this weak anions, this is uh, total weak acids and the bicarbonate, carbon dioxide. So this equal this. If we usually measure this is sodium, which is the measure, minus chloride equals what? Equals this. What this? This is a bicarbonate plus total weak acid 16 plus 24 gives you 40. So the strong ion difference is, uh, is 40. What's meant by 40? This is uh, These are the hydroxyl group. So when, when, when I say the strong ion difference is normally, this is 40. 40, 40 hydroxyl group, which equals bicarbonate and total weak acids. 
it's very important this is a, the that's it this is the buffer base this is the buffer which is 40 the difference between a strong ion difference apparent one and the buffer base these are the lactic acid keto acid small bot which we call it a strong ion gap which is usually zero but sometimes increase if the imagine is having keto acid also so lactic acid this will increase and increase on, on the expense of photo increase in the expense of bicarbonate so this will increase and accordingly this will decrease keep us in this part so this is sodium minus chloride equals strong ion differences and this equals 40 which means that uh, bicarbonate and total weak acid is 40 which means that the hydroxyl group hydroxyl group is 40 Look at the strong ion difference. The strong ion difference change in the strong ion difference occurs only with the normal anion gap. It does not change with abnormal high anion gap or low anion gap. So this is uh, because uh, this is sodium minus chloride. Sodium minus chloride change in the chloride will give us a change in the strong ion difference. The change in the sodium will give us change in the strong ion difference. But change in the bicarbonate itself has nothing to do with this. Right, so this is a problem. Changing this uh, in uh, in the cases of uh, of uh, uh, of uh, high anion gap, but in normal anion gap that I've mentioned before, changing the bicarbonate through the gastrointestinal tract or through the kidney will be associated with the change in the chloride. So this is uh, another problem. So the normal anion gap, normal anion gap is changing strong ion differences. Look at this. Uh, if the patient is having uh, normal anion gap change, what we call this is a patient is having diarrhea. This is a patient is having loss uh, of chloride, loss of bicarbonate with gain of chloride. So the chloride will increase. So the difference between the strong ion differences uh, will decrease. So this is a. Uh, on the other hand, if the patient is having a uh, high bar, uh, as, as patient is having vomiting, vomiting is losing chloride and at the same time is gaining, uh, as, uh, uh, is gaining uh, bicarbonate. As the problem of electroneutrality, so this is there will be for sure. This is a, a the sodium minus a decrease in the chloride itself will be increased in the and the and the and the, and the uh, strong ion uh, differences. This means a strong increase uh, in the hydroxyl group. This means some sort of alkalosis. So this is a, a problem. So you can you can take it uh, simply simply like that. This is uh, sodium. This is strong ion difference. Uh, um, uh, the relation between sodium and chloride but this will never change except when case of normal anion gap diarrhea will be associated with loss of uh, bicarbonate increase in the chloride loss of bicarbonate this will be less so this is acidosis in cases of vomiting this is increase the, the loss of chloride and loss of chloride increase of the bicarbonate means this more than 40 and this is uh, some sort of metabolic uh, Alkalosis. So this is a uh, uh, thing you have to take care. Of, okay. But on the other hand, if there is some sort of high anion gap, anion gap, this is uh, this means that uh, the loss of color and bicarbonate or chloride will never be through the kidney or through the gastrointestinal tract. So this is an acid has been added, like keto acids uh, or lactic acids uh, or formic acid in the methyl alcohol. This will be in the expense of what? In the expense of uh, bicarbonate so the bicarbonate here will decrease so the buffer base will decrease uh, and uh, but here the strong ion difference is the same look at the strong ion difference so for difference between sodium and chloride no change in sodium no change in chloride and the difference is 40 but here what have changed it is the buffer base bicarbonate you change it only this is change in the bicarbonate will be should to decrease in the bicarbonate hydroxyl group so this is a uh, so you will take uh, you will you will study the ABG from different angles this is an angle of normal anion gap. There is no change in the normal. This is not a problem of normal anion gap. It is a problem of high anion gap changes. That's why the change of the bicarbonate and the buffer base. Right? Sometimes you added something like uh, uh, sodium lactate or sodium acetate. So sodium will increase. And when you look at it, this is a sodium increase. But uh, what happened? Sodium increase, the difference is uh, larger, more than 40. This is an alkalosis. It increase the hydroxyl group. When we come to the sodium acetate dissociation of third sodium acetate will give you hydroxyl group. So this is a hydroxyl. But bicarbonate increase. Buffer babies is the same. 
the bicarbonate, the strong, the strong ion differences increase. This is a, a alkalosis. So I, I, I coat alkalosis. Uh, I put my hand on the alkalosis from the strong ion differences, not from the buffer base like the BPS1. So when you come to the BH, for sure, the BH it will be alkalotic. That's it. So the acetate will be acetated and well dissociated to give a hydroxyl group. Hydroxyl group will increase concomitantly. There should be a decrease in the hydrogen uh, uh, ion because the pK is normal, which is uh, 14. This is at uh, our true temperature or at the temperature. So this is uh, our... So uh, the problem here, when you come to this, is uh, sodium acetate so inc will increase from these strong ion differences. It is alkalotic. When you come to the decision of photo, you will find that it is increased in the hydroxyl group, but uh, the buffer base will be the same. And uh, uh, and uh, normal buffer base, there is no change in the bicarbonate. And the increase in the anion gap, increase in the strong ion differences uh, due to the additions of uh, lactate. This is an example. If the patient is having diarrhea, and look at the strong ion differences of diarrhea, this means the patient is uh, losing this electroneutrality. There is of bicarbonate and gain of chloride. So the difference will be, no, between the two will be less. So there is decrease in the uh, strong ion differences, there is decrease in the oxide group, this is some sort of acidosis. And for sure, the buffer base in this case, uh, there is decrease in the buffer base instead of 40, came 29. So this is a metabolic acidosis due to diarrhea and the loss of bicarbonate. The buffer base is uh, decreased, the strong ion differences uh, decreased, this is decreased in ion. And at the same time, when you look at uh, the anion gap, is normal because the decrease in the in the bicarbonate is associated with this concomitant increase in the chloride, and this together is 130. The uh, anion gap is normal. Vomiting, the same thing. This is a loss of uh, chloride, but from the gastrointestinal tract, this electroneutrality, loss of uh, chloride, this will be associated with increase in the bicarbonate. So this in this case, uh, when you look at this, the two together together 130 the anion gap is normal this is the anion gap is normal and this is no, no problem but what happened this is a vomiting loss of chloride increased by carbonate the buffer base will increase this is alkalosis and when you look at the strong ion difference the difference between sodium and the chloride will be higher this is alkalosis so there's an increase in the bicarbonate manifested in the buffer increase in the buffer base and manifested at the same time increase the cell group and the strong ion differences which is larger this is an important part but uh, this is uh, electroneutrality normal anion gap when you come to the uh, patient with uh, DKA DKA there is increased here this is an addition of keto acids which neutralizes part of the bicarbonate nothing to do with the sodium nothing to do with the chloride the two together are the same so the strong ion difference is the same but here this decrease in the bicarbonate due to neutralizations by keto acids in this case the buffer base decreases so the pH here is acidotic when you come to this so the strong ion difference didn't give us a clue for this but the buffer base gave us a clue and at the same time when you look at the anion gap this anion gap this is the submission of these two became less than 130 so this increase in the anion gap so this is a high anion gap metabolic acidosis by this interpretation if you add the normal saline for this patient or the patient developed diarrhea in this case uh, the chloride will increase so the increase in the chloride but uh, we are facing that in this patient is decrease in the bicarbonate due to the presence of keto acids, but you increase the chloride. When you look at this, uh, the difference between sodium and the chloride, this is uh, a strong ion difference, uh, this is, uh, 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 is less than 40. This means that uh, this is a hypercholomic metabolic acidosis. In addition to the metabolic acidosis uh, due to high anion gap, uh, due to keto acids, so we have two two together. So the pH is is low due to two things. And this is a uh, low bicarbonate, low buffer base from the uh, keto acids. Uh, this is uh, acidotic high anion gap acid metabolic acidosis. In addition to this, uh, we have added high percolomic metabolic acidosis manifested by strong ion differences, which decreased, uh, uh, and at the same time the anion gap which decreased. To conclude that uh, strong ion differences increase, and strong ion differences means increase in the hydroxyl group, increase, alkalosis decrease, decrease in the hydroxyl group, and uh, this is uh, an acidosis. And thank you.